it's uh, time for another mod for the Triumph. So, <laughs> first off is uh, cut an inch and an eighth hole in the side of your leather pouch. So I need to drill a hole in the back here. Because what we want to do is we want to mount a uh, we want to mount a voltmeter in there, don't we? So when I start the bike up, I can just look, and it's on it. So I stand, I can just look around the back, and I've got a little voltmeter there. It tells me if my battery's charging, or it's charged, or dead, or whatever. <coughs> and on these um, Triumphs, there ain't a lot of room. On the uh, on the dash around the clocks area, there's no room to put a voltmeter there. So. Uh, What's the best thing to do? Is stick it in your tool roll. So you need to cut it. Maybe go down a bit. You need to drill a hole for the wires to come out down the bottom here. Let's kind of drill. Somewhere about there, I think. There, I do. And the, uh, what I should do is I stick that on the bike, and we go. I don't know if you can, don't even know what I'm looking at because I can't see in the back of the camera. Yeah, yeah you can suppose, see that, I suppose, then. There, and the hole right down and underneath. So you get a bit of, it should be big enough for a bit of sleeving. Too big. Right. Right. So we got a, a bit of sleeving from the the tool roll. Let's come round. Should I try and put this through first? There we go. Just put a bit of that through. Right.
you've got an extra couple of yellow and white wires which basically live that one coil and that yellow and white wire into the other coil so you've got the spare the spare live there when you turn the ignition on these two wires become live because they were the original the original coil wires so we have the wire that comes around and it'll plug into and it'll plug into that so when you turn the ignition on your voltmeter will work on the back it won't be on constantly so you just cut those wires off don't need any more wire than that I mean, there's, these voltmeters are pretty cheap from China, only like a couple of quid each, 175 each or something like that. So it's, um, it just saves having to worry about your, your electrics and that, you know, and stopping and lifting the seat up and getting a, a, a voltmeter gauge, Ujima Flip multimeter on there and checking that. And when I mean, you can just like look to your tool roll and see it on the side of your tool roll. On the inside, uh, it's just a, uh, a uh, inside of your tool roll to hold the uh, to stop the the lever flapping about. Really, I mean it's quite thick, so you don't really need this washer. I wouldn't have thought. There's a washer that goes on the back back of the um, voltmeter. Hold it in place. I'm not even sure if I'm going to need that. Really, to be honest. So, strip these wires. Black wire just wants to chop off about there. I'm short of terminal connectors from here, unless I go down a, down a size nut and bolt that hold it on. Can you see what I'm doing? Can you see what I'm doing? What are you doing up there? Wait. <laughs> Funny cat that. Right, let's say what we've done. We've got our wires for the voltmeter. Go in through some sleeving. Comes out at the back, tie wrap to the frame. One earth goes to here, and the other wire comes into the the coil, the original um, coil lead, which was uh, for the 12 volt coils. They had this one and the other one. I'm not sure if I, uh, that was. Uh, need to just stick a bit of tape around that, really, because it looks a bit shiny there, and the shiny means it's it can earth out somewhere. <laughs> so I'll, just, I'll whack a bit of tape around that in a second, and when you turn the ignition on, the coil wire livens up and should liven up the uh, voltmeter when it's on so I will be back in a in a split second for you but it'll be a little bit while for me because I'm waiting for these voltmeters to come from China and I think they're on the slow boat these ones so I'll be back when I've got the voltmeter and we can put that in and we can start the bike up and see what happens well, finally the old uh, voltmeters have arrived off the old sleigh boat from China but uh, there's no telling what colours they are whether they're 
red or green or blue. So I've got a I, I want the uh, green ones on the on the back of my bike. So uh, <coughs> I have to open them up and test them and see which colours which. So got my mates mates one as well, so they can stick voltmeters on their bikes. And got a couple of spares. So yeah, let's uh, see check. I find myself a, the one that I'm after, and we stick it on the uh, on my tool roll and have a look. So these are the little voltmeters. So hopefully we can stick it in there. I don't know. I don't know what colour this is. So I, uh, I should check the colour out really first, shouldn't I? Positive and negative. Just going to turn it on and see what colour it is. It's a green one as well, look at that. We got a green one. The first one out in the bag and it's the colour I was after. <laughs> That's all we need to do now. Please. Fit it. I didn't put the old uh, new washer and the clip on the back there. So I'm yeah, gonna do that first. Like a plonker. And then we go in there with him. Sealant around there if he was that worried about it. Oh, that's that. There's still plenty of room in there. So let's turn the uh, ignition on now and see what we got. That's pretty cool. Alright, thanks for watching, and I'll uh, catch you later.